Mary's always having a bit to fancy it. If you fancy it, that's understood. And suppose he makes you fat, I don't worry over that. For the little of what you fancy does you good. parents opened it in uh, 1914. Um, I think in those days they were working for a, a, a firm called Evans. And I suppose in those days they, um, well grandma was a, I think was a manageress there from what I understand and they took it on when the Evans retired and I suppose in those days they retained the name Evans until they paid the, the uh, business fee off, you know, the debt. Um, and then it became Arnott's uh, around about 1914. Me, I came, I've been coming since it was a little one over the, over the uh, gateway there when they had sawdust on the floor. At one time we had three going at one time, um, back in the 60s, uh, early 60s. Um, my father thought it was a good idea to, to have a, a shop in when the Aylesbury was being built um, in Tenant at uh, Westmoreland Road, 10 and 12 Westmoreland Road, and we've been there ever since. Gurley worked in the shop, uh, my aunt Glad, my aunt Ethel, my cousin Vicky. Uh, at some stage all the, all the children have worked in the shop. Cousin Warren, his brother John, his brother Adam, um, you know, Gary, uh, Debbie and Dawn. So all my cousins that are in the family, they've all worked there at some stage. <laughs> How long have you been coming to Marmons? 60 years. And about 40 years. 20 years? 46 years. 50 years? Oh, oh, when I was across the road, that like, first guy didn't work as well. 70 years ago. Many, many years. All my life. Uh, the old pie turning ritual. Yeah, I thought it was the pie. Why would you turn the pie? So you kept the finger in that inside. Tell me about it. Well, I've been wondering why they've stopped serving them upside down because I remember as a kid coming in, they would always be served upside down, the liquor would be poured on top. Nice and soaked in by the time you get it, you're killing me. Time you get back to the table, but they don't now, so I have to do it manually. I find it's a more enjoyable way if the, uh, the liquor gets to soak into the base. Yeah, and what's going on? Because you've got to make the, the incisions there. So you can pour me vinegar in. You won't turn your pie over. Any reason for that? Yeah, because for me, I like the crusty part at the top. <laughs> yeah. No, you have to leave the crispy bit on top. No, I like it like this. I like the crusty part upside down. I don't want it built again. I like it the right way up, all brown, all nice on top, well done. Um, um, I've one up my dad. One up my dad. <laughs> I've always done it. It's just a thing, and I still have it to this day like that. I don't know why. It's just an habit, I suppose. One up my dad. I've obviously put me some pepper on. I've put more chili vinegar on the one that's upright than the one that's upside down. I don't know why. But again, it's habit. Once, two, or twice a week. I ain't great going. I ain't great going. I can't eat too much, so I feel like falling asleep every time I have a plate of it. But not to bait those, so I'm out. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and Saturday. Two or three times a week. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, absolute congratulations. Lovely to see such a great institution. Arvids get their blue flag. Well, very well deserved. Thank you very much. Cameron, young Cameron here, and to Jake Goodman, who are going to actually unveil the flag. So, you got it, you got it here. Three, two, one. Wow.
There's something about everything, it's the liquor, it's the mints, it's the everything, it's all the factors I can't even explain. But to me, that is, it's basically the king of the pie mash to me. We'll blow up on it and we go with love that and that's it. Hope that they go on for another hundred years. I mean, even today with all the different food about, you still can't beat the pie mash shop. I think I'll stick with almonds till I leave this life. <laughs> almonds forever, I guess. <laughs>